Also, I saw it was just down on our block. He just cleaned up all these fucking shit barriers everywhere. Oh, shit, he did. Too. Yeah, I had to talk a little shit to him, They're but you gone. know, got it done. He might be getting the ones over by the jewelry store too, which would be great. I think he did. He just went over there. Bro, that's so good for drug sales. Oh my god. Oh, yeah. <laughs> dude, now that's the what you're concerned about. Well, because there's a side alley back there that they walk through, and you're completely covered on all sides, and so huh? it's the best place to sell drugs in the city. Yeah, yeah, it is. Best place. So good. So there is four. Four. All right. And do we need one pump per station, or is it literally one pump per pump? All right, so Murph, we're gonna need like, depending how big it, we're gonna need like twenty pumps for or some shit. Twenty pumps. They're like. Oh no, no, we're probably gonna need like. Aren't there only six pumps? No, one pump would cover both sides. You're talking about. There's one tank, which is for the octane of the fuel, I think, that covers the whole gas station. We need more octanes. Yeah, but it's all connected to the same fucking pump. We only have one op option for gas right now. Maybe, I don't know. We'll all see. Right. But we're going to need a lot, so. I need performance fuel for my S-Class. All right, I think you guys are talking about gas. I'm just talking about the oil at this point. So you're doing, so okay, I you're got, doing wholesale distribution. I got, I got the oil. Uh, I'm on the list for the oil. I don't even know how the gas work. The gas works. Yeah, yeah I'll talk so to Alex that? Ron and, and we'll see what's up with that. Okay. Yeah, let, give me all the me. details on that because like, you know, I could probably I can probably manage that too. But like for right now, I'm on the list for the oil and I just need to know like how many oil pumps I'm going to need. So uh, I got I, I got it. a rough I got a rough estimate on like how much each oil pump costs. And that's out in the, those fields over there over uh, east. Yeah, yeah, yeah. OK. All right. Shit. Well, whatever you need. Obviously, we got you, but I mean, look, I got you in the way of like illegal shit. Or you just let me know if someone, you know, maybe there's someone that is a, in a position of power that needs to get their dick chopped off. Let me know. I'm committed. I mean, I got I got all this cash and equity. Like, basically, I'm gonna take out a loan to get into this venture and hopefully just be able to pay off the loan and not even yeah. use my own fucking money. And uh, oh. depending on the margins, I mean, that could be pretty good, you know. Yeah, I Why is that car turning off constantly? What the... I don't know. Wait, is that is that the new Porsche? That's Miguel, I think. Yeah, it's the new one. That's fucking the GTSR three or whatever. You know how shitty I feel having bought this like fucking old bullshit Porsche, like only a week ago. No, I like that Porsche. That's a good Porsche. I like, that one. I, I like, I like it. I like it. I like it, but I don't like the fact that a new one came out like a week after. That's what happens to me every Brother, time I buy a new computer or a new fuck. About that, that's a, I meant just, to be a classic. It's supposed to be old. I know, I know. It's fine. I'm. It's like I'm my good car, with it, bro. But like, Come on. but it's like, it's like every time I buy like a new computer, right? Like a week later, the the next like <laughs> fucking shit. graphics card oh, fucking comes maybe out. Maybe fucking do a little research before you impulse buy, you son of a bitch. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna research a fucking car. Fucking Eddie didn't talk about that car in his video. All right. Well. Fair enough. I don't know what to say about that one. You're right. Is At least close? not that I saw. Oh no, no. Oh, look, I, I knew, look. People were talking about these cars coming off the ship, the containers and stuff, imports and stuff, whatever, whatever. I'm like, dude, I like my car. Fuck you guys, dummies. Like, I'm good, dude. I'm not fucking stressed. I like out. my car too. So I got a straight. We're good. We're fucking. We're balling, right? <laughs> I got a pretty straight deal on my car. You know, I got no complaints about my car. Yeah. It's a Porsche. I like it. But I would have liked to have the opportunity to choose between yeah. one Porsche yeah. or another Porsche. You know what I mean? Yeah, I guess you're right. God damn it. Gotta grease the wheels harder, man. Not enough grease. Stop fucking walking right into my fucking conversation. Go to sleep, ho. Where, where'd he go? Yeah, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta get, I gotta get a handle on this whole, on this whole gas business. Cause like earlier in the day, I wasn't even sure that, that, that like I was, I'd heard all sorts of stuff about it, like it was already all bought up and all this other shit. But like now, now I'm actually seems like, like you got seem to be in it. Yes, it, se it seems like I'm gonna be a major oil and gas distributor in the city pretty soon. So I got, yeah. I got to figure out like there's gonna be Ryan and there's gonna be Brian. Oh my yeah, God. you have to yeah. dude. You got, you have to trademark this shit, dude. Braun versus Ryan. I'm gonna go to the. I'm gonna start this, this dressing like Daniel Plainview. All right, this is I'm the gonna way, get, dude. I'm gonna. This is the wave, you know. 
You got two stoners here. We have the best ideas in the city, okay? Okay, uh, I mean, I got Do they have, like, here. a hat that's, like, a flat, a flat cowboy hat? Like, I, I, like, I, 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 I just give him a blood. great idea. Ron versus Ron. Maybe. You might Ron be able to find oil. something close to that, but not exact. I know what you I mean. I drink your milkshake. I drink your milkshake. I drink Ron. it up. Yeah. I drink the blood of lamb from Bandy's tract. Oh, shit. Wait, who's got the Sylvestra? Who's driving the Sylvestra? Hey, I'm Benny. driving a Sylvestra. Which car is this? This is mine. This is my car. Where did my well. car go? This is mine. I parked it, sorry. Don't, no, Chris, you're asking too many questions out here. Too many questions. The question is, where, my, where did my car go? Yeah, where'd I whip at? Oh, there here it is. Oh, shit. Nice there it is Bobby's oh, car. Y'all like my car? The, uh, okay, Y'all like my new car? Yep. Oh yeah, I keep, I keep th uh, forgetting to go to the arcade and check it out. Dude, go! It's sick. It looks so dope. It's actually so sick. The only reason I, the only reason I didn't go is because like people HOA guys outside were saying that your fucking pockets wipe every time you go in. There. If you go in and play the games, yes. If you just walk around and look, it nothing happens. It's just the you got. If you play the games, you might lose stuff in your pockets. Yeah. All right, but the, the games work. You just yes. have to like have empty pockets. Yes, hundred percent. Okay. Easy. All right. All yeah. right. All right. It's also All right. dope as fuck. So. What, what kind of games do they have there? Uh, all right. Don't know. <laughs> I really actually just don't know. I just was looking at the the ambiance of the place, and it's literally one of the coolest interiors I've seen of the whole city. Yeah, pretty fucking sick. Yep. Yep. What? Right. Do I just take a nap for a little bit, dude? I don't know. I'm about to probably. I'm I don't probably know going to do soon. anymore. I, I like. I, I have stuff no, I want to do. I feel like do. I gotta stick around. Well, dude, I have stuff I gotta do, but the thing is, it requires me to hassle people that probably that just aren't gonna answer my fucking calls. I'm gonna try to call like, Crane still, one more time. I'm still not <clears> doing <throat> shit right now, but I've just made some serious commitments, so I feel like I gotta like stick around and wait for the news. You know what I mean? It's a pretty big commitment, yeah. Yeah, pretty big, I'd have to say. Four gas stations. Oil tycoon. With their own. So, like, there's, like, refining the oil into gas. That's a whole step in the process, right? Like, how many employees do you think I'll need for all this? Mm, I don't know how involved that process is, so it's hard for me to make a statement on that. It comes down to how tedious right, yeah, that work is. Brian. You gotta, you're gonna have to literally Ryan. get that outfit set up for yourself, go out there yourself, and prospect that yourself, and then figure out, okay, how long does this take? Does this suck? Do I need to build a unit? Or can a couple people just do this? And if it's just a couple people, then I'd say you'd probably just have to hire, like, you know, maybe like two people per on. Yeah, because I know, I know at least some of it I can do myself, depending on, like, how busy I am. Uh, with other shit yeah. and I you know basically I can fucking go fucking in disguise you know if I don't want anyone to bother me as a as an attorney you know I could just like put on a disguise and go do my oil shit and well, then like sign in for the day you know what how, I mean how litigious are you within the business sector I mean do you see yourself as a strong uh, you know attorney in the world of uh, you know business you know, politics and things of this nature because I'm gonna tell you yeah. you might get a lot busier with all this fucking business that's emerging. So you might need to build yourself a crack team of oilers. Who knows? Yeah, no, I'm definitely I'm definitely going to be trying to create jobs, but like <clears> at <throat> least at least initially till I pay off like whatever kind of loan I'm going to get, I'm going to try to I'm I'm going to try to do this with like, you know, someone else's money, you know. So like yeah, you know, man. that's that's just how you that's just how you do in business where you oh, expect to have man. a margin of profit, you know? Yeah. So like until I get the loan paid off, I'm going to do as much of this shit as possible myself. But I'm, you know, I'm getting into this to create opportunities and make jobs and you know let's be real like have something to do when like you know lawyer lawyer isn't so popping you exactly. know and i'm a i'm a clean guy that's i mean that's beneficial for a bunch of fuck ups like you who own a bunch of gas stations but you know you commit crimes you can't uh you can't own an oil rig you know not a rig so you got me yeah. you got me to do that so i'm a, i'm gonna keep it 100. trying to get oiled up all right i like it you got a resident oiler guys this is good. But now apparently, now apparently I'm I'm the clean man for the gas stations too, and it's got its own like other process that I gotta familiarize myself Which with. Which whole other set of expenses. 
Yeah. Yeah. We only have doo doo gas availability. We can't, we don't have the better gas, which I feel like there's got to be, if there's crap, there's got to be something better, right? We got to figure out how to get our hands yeah. on the premium. Also, yeah, so like. Food? I stuff might even inside need... the gas station? Are we doing anything inside the gas station? Do you know anything about that? I have no idea. Okay. Because I thought that some of this, you know, this, uh, these business opportunities were going to extend to the interior of the gas station, but I didn't, you know, didn't really. Slushy machines ain't working in there. Fountain drinks ain't working. So I don't know. It's all good. I thought that was going to be a thing, but you know, no big deal. Same old gas station. Inside. Yeah, I'm, I'm totally looking forward to this whole process and just seeing how, how, how much money it makes. Because I mean, honestly, let's be serious. Like, gas fuel for cars is like pretty much the one thing that everybody in the city needs. Everyone, besides literally food. everyone. Yes. So I can't see any situation or set of circumstances where this doesn't make us money. Exactly. And a lot of it, too. Like, to the point where you're going to have, like, a fucking money printer if you set it up right. I have so, money printer. Yeah. Well, you can't go to sleep and keep making it, Sal. That's the fucking whole thing yeah, that we're trying to set up here. You know, that's what I'm trying to set up. That's what he's setting up. That's what we're all trying to do. Build the nest I have a business, I would make itself. a taco business or something. No one has tacos, but everyone has sandwiches oh. and shit. People like tacos though right everyone likes tacos if you don't like tacos you're a terrorist that's the fact the one thing i need to know though is if i'm gonna need to make a business proposal for my, for my fuel concern really or or if, anymore Off or if, if if like they're just gonna create a new business for me if i get approved to the oil shit yeah i mean because it's such a uh, regulated business it might be something where there's kind of a skeleton like like layout of like what that business entails and you kind of fill in the dots or fill in the blank sort of thing because i don't think you're gonna you won't have the freedoms that everyone you know that a small business would have like in terms of creating every layer of the business every aspect of yeah you're you're in a very highly regulated business so yeah you're gonna have to do a little bit more research than the the normal person you're gonna have a little bit more responsibility you know than the average business owner if you think about it so yeah you're gonna have to do some extra shit Good luck with that. Probably, probably, probably not even like as much as like the dispensaries, to be honest. Because well, like the okay. dispensaries just well, get that, fucked. Right. You're right about that. But that I feel like this city is just either unwilling to update laws to protect those types of businesses, or they're just just real fucking behind on doing it. You know. And uh, hopefully, with the, the emergence of a lot of these businesses, a lot of that, you know fine print gets fucking updated like you were saying about crane and stuff you know yeah the dispensary stuff is is, is tough and it's tough for a lot of reasons because yeah. like i feel i feel like the dispensaries only exist because one one very specific person that everybody loved like wanted it and most people in general like the cops especially like just kind of like wish that weed was illegal just because it's a lot simpler that way it's, a, it's but simpler but it doesn't no one wants to get rid of the dispensaries exists. nobody wants to get rid of the dispensaries because we'll like because like you know it. i get it i get why i get why but it's more than that i think it's more than that reason it's it, because at the uh, on the same token of like i don't know dude we just but Sal, legal. Sal, you've been around as long as I have, pretty much. Like, you understand what I mean when I say, like, you know, like, drugs being illegal makes sense, like, for the city that we live in. I mean, I know what you're saying yeah, when you say that, I, 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 but just I think it's I think it's refreshing to add outside of the city logic to you know the 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 evolution of the city. If that makes yeah, sense. Yeah, I, I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying. I but like, like when, it's, when, it's, cut when it's legal sometimes, when it's legal sometimes, and it's illegal other times, like, what do you think the cops are going to do? They're going to try to make it illegal, even if it's legal. But as much most as they of can. them are bad at it. That's the thing. There's only a few yeah, cops that are actually truly good at taking something that is borderline and making it something that they could go into your house and touch your things for. Like, at the end of the day, I know who to be scared of in these streets, right? And that's why. Well, I want to see. I want to see these new dispensary guidelines. Yes, me too. Uh, that's before what, I, before that's I judge exactly it, because the old ones were a fucking joke. I was about to segue joke. into. That's literally what I was about to get. I'm like, I can't wait to see what Crane does. Because, like, the old ones were a joke. Like, yo, I love Stanton, but, like, those guidelines are, like, I, I, I don't know. They're a little too, they're a little, they're a little too stringent. They're a little too, like, hard to, hard to live up to. You know, and, if you're just, and, 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 if you're just a, a, a random ass pothead trying to run a business in this city. 
Bro, we literally had to get see when we when we did green beans, we literally had to go talk to the judges. And Stanton literally was one he was the one. We had to get him to remove seeds from the paraphernalia list, but he did it in a half-ass way that left it ambiguous. And you're right. I mean, it kind of fucked a lot of things and our business oh, what is it? wouldn't have been it able is to not exist ambiguous because Kayo actually made like an official DOJ announcement like a year ago saying seeds are not illegal and they just ignore that shit. That's no what, you know, that's what it is. It's like one layer of people ignore it while one people honor it, you know, in one group. It's, it's there's yeah, always a disconnect. Exactly. I'll give y'all a call. In a Fucking bit sucks. Days. But that, that's been an inherent issue with the city for a long time in multiple other categories than just dispensaries. But like time and time again, I've seen people get fucked for seeds because they're like, oh, yeah, well, they're not illegal, but they're paraphernalia and they're PC for a search warrant. Yeah, it's for, like, well, yep. and now they're looking at everything that else in their pocket. I just don't understand how something that isn't illegal you can be one. like PC for a warrant. Well, that's like there's the, a lot of there's a lot of it. stuff that's like frustrating because it's legal and illegal at yeah, the same yeah, time sure when it comes to weed. That's why this bong shit is going to be interesting. I got to I got to get yeah. this locked down because it literally is exactly just like a seed. You know, it's paraphernalia if you put weed in it, but it beyond a, a legal amount, though, there's that stipulation. It's like it's legal to smoke weed. Um, and th like, think about it this way. You can hold what? 13 joints in your pocket? 13 joints is... Yeah, 13. Yeah, 13 joints is, uh... Yeah, what's 26 grams, right? I think that's... So that would be the legal... That would be the legal limit. Uh, 26 grams, right? Uh... Yeah. Yeah, okay. So, 26 grams. Um, with the bongs, I'm trying to get it to where you would take one packed bud. You can roll eight joints with one packed bud. I want to be able to put one packed bud into a bowl and you can rip it eight times, you know what I mean? Just, you know, so you kind of use the same amount of weed. But, uh, you know, someone that has a couple extra nugs in their pocket, I mean, there's going to be, like, some people that know those, the usage amounts, right? But then there's going to be someone like Wrangler that just doesn't give a fuck and just steamrolls it and just uses it, like you said, to kind of build around it and kind of search other things and, you know. Look, at the end of the day, the officer's intent is usually going to guide what they do, regardless of how fucking, you know, how well these laws are written, dude. These cops are going to find a way. The shithead cops are going to find a way. We can't do nothing about oh, that. Sure. We can't do nothing about it. <sighs> so you just got to live your life in a way that you just fucking, you just find the shitties and you just fucking avoid it like the plague. <laughs> if I see Wrangler, if I see a blacked out charger, oh God. Just leave. Stop. Yo, if you think you can avoid Charger, Wrangler. Primo, Granger, Comet. Bro, I've if you think you can avoid Wrangler, then, you know, I mean, he's going to get you one day. I have up to this point, and I've been around for a while. So, what can I say? Your day will come. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I'm telling you, he's going to raid me at some point. You know, he's going to find a reason or a way to do it. Um, I'm, just, I'm just hoping that I have something for him, because, like, I want... When, when Wrangler raids me for whatever the hell he's going to try to do it for, I just want to have, like, you know, so, something set up for him. So, like, there's a note saying, like, fuck you, Wrangler, and a bunch of poop in my fucking stash, you know, or something like that. I, 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 I just Damn. I just want to waste his time. I love that. I love that. I love that for you. And I encourage it. Um, I don't know. We'll see, man. A lot of business coming. But for you, it's soul. a little different. It is. Look, if things get a little spicy for me, I just say, hey, boys, let's get on these roofs a little soul. <laughs> That's it. Um, the thing is, I don't know, man. A lot of these criminals that sell drugs are stupid. And that's it. They're just, nobody likes to drive the speed limit. No one likes to fucking, when they're transporting stuff, do it safely. Everyone wants to speed run everything. So that's where I shine because I don't do that. Very cautious. There ain't no slow. speed run about getting your product seized and making net profit of zero on it. Yeah, that shit sucks, but you got to do some dumb shit to get to that point. In my I opinion. I a speed run. That's called a setback. Yeah, I mean, well, I guess to... If you get caught, you, know, you lose money. Well, yeah. Now, think about this, though. If I was to get raided, I'd lose my warehouse. I'd lose everything, right? But I don't lose the rep that I've gained with the strain of weed that I've been growing this whole time. Yeah. So, the bounce back is going to be fast as fuck, if, even if I get caught. 
uh, because months and months of work have gone into me building my strain rep up to the point where now I'm selling at a pretty high price per bag. Bro, I'll just hit the ground running with fresh weed and you can't like, you can't stop the hustle. So yeah, there's a level of me not giving a fuck to this, but even still with that, I feel like I'm cautious, more cautious than most criminals. Like, I'm gonna be honest. These motherfuckers are crazy out there, dude. You see the people I hang out with? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's People think I'm crazy. I'm pretty cautious, even though okay. I brought friends. I've, I've seen online. everything. You know, I've represented every every type of you know. You know, like uh, look look at look at Wayne for example. Like, <laughs> exactly. I, I had to Prime watch example. Wayne. I had to watch Wayne like go through being like, you know, from the top down every step of the way to the point where he had so many cases. And and I was like, Wayne, what are you doing? You, you, you this is ridiculous. And and then he he fucking smartened up and he started delegating and like he hasn't had a fucking case since. He did get smart. You know what I mean? He he was willingly doing a lot of that stuff that was leading to these problems. Like he knew the risks. He made conscious decisions yeah. to just kind of wing it and just be reckless. And but and I, after enough cases, like, right now. you know, he he doesn't want the cases anymore. Because so, like, every time you get a case, it's like a hundred k or some shit. You know, eventually that shit adds up. Goddamn. Then you yeah, you know you you're in jail for up. multiple years and shit. I mean, come on, brother. So you gotta, yeah, you gotta switch point. Up. You don't want to be spending the whole your whole life in and out of a courtroom and in and out of the prison, you know. Well, you're right, and the thing is, I knew that from the beginning, and that's how I've always fucking behaved. That's the difference, you know. I don't need to fucking get my ass fucking slapped up by the law to know. So I don't know. Maybe I'm more boring, but I don't care, dude. At least I'm fucking safe, and I can and have a warehouse in my like, own name. You got the odds stacked against you in the drug game because there's so much byproduct, there's so much paraphernalia, there's so many different ways of PC, you know, ways and means of PC they can get on you at every step of the process. You're right. That like, You're yeah. right. But this is the one thing that keeps me, that separates at least us from the rest of the dumbass drug dealers that get caught all the time. Now so more than ever, we're a little soul, baby. <laughs> well. Go ahead. Go ahead. Push up. Push up with your boys and come in here while I'm fucking slanging bags. See what happens. That's all I got to say, you know? And look. To this day, I have been pushing bags and bags and bags, boxes of boxes. I've only been boxes. caught twice. I have never been caught. They got caught. They got cocky, and then one day they kidnapped me. And then one day it was 2 a.m. and no one was around. So yeah. Yo, what's good? Yeah, what's up, Mark? Well, you almost uh, got me that one day, but they they tased me out of your car, and they kidnapped me the other time. So we've been pretty lucky you? here. <laughs> yeah, they fucking kidnapped me. Randy stabbed me, and they kidnapped me. Like, oh, we're gonna go take him to the hospital. That they took me under the Federal Reserve and, and barricaded me there. Wow. We got EMS there. Yeah, it was fucked up. It was fucked up. Right. Yeah, it is fucked up. But other than that, we have been good here. I've sold thousands of baggies. Well, the baggy People game think twice. has changed. Listen, the baggy game has changed, all right? Right now, as of today, you cannot be any Joe Schmo off the street and slang bags. You yeah. have to be in a gang, officially added on this, this criminal network on your laptop. Using a VPN and a laptop, there's an app on your, your laptop that basically tracks certain criminal activities. It tracks on a dark, you know, on a dark net level, who's in what gang. You have to Wait, be- really? Yes. You have to be added by the leader of that gang into this system to be able to slang bags on that gang's turf. So earlier today, I woke up. I was, Sal and I both saw, we were unable to sell bags and make money. Locals were taking the bags and not paying us. Yeah, and, you were getting robbed. Yeah, well, then Kay woke up. Oh shit, you couldn't just not sell? They were taking the shit, they were but just not taking paying it. you? It yes, took my weed, bro. Exactly. Give me Sal money. lost a lot, of money, or a lot of weed, you know, because he was trying <laughs> to sell. <laughs> that's like four baggies. Yeah, that was like, that's prime dollar, bro. That's, yeah, like, prime dollar. that's like, that, that's like a lot of money. Yes, yeah, indeed. I mean, that's, that's a, $800 right there. It's a better right half there. of a grand. Yes. I mean, that's good, though. $800. Right? That's well, what what's not good is you sound like you're in a fucking fishbowl, but, you know, yes, that is good. Um, so here's the deal. You have to get added by the leader of that, you know, whoever the de facto leader is for that gang. They literally have to add you in that digital, you know, application. They it's, dude, gangs have gone digital, man. I, I don't think you now. just have to do, I don't think you have to be in the gang for boosting. Maybe you just have to do the other shit, boy. Yeah, don't maybe. be dummy if you have to be 
in a game for boosting. Yeah, I don't know about that. But uh, all I know is for weed, you can't just push bags on anybody's turf anymore. You literally have to be part of that gang. And if you're not, the locals ain't gonna buy your shit. So Marcel, this creates a interesting layer for you oh, and Sal, God. because you guys aren't technically like Yeah, you know, I know. I don't know what I don't know what to do. Yeah. So and what I'm hearing is there's a limit, okay? There's like a hard limit on the people that can be added and listed as a gang, okay? So this is where it gets creative, you know? Can you know are, are more groups gonna rise up and form or are people going to I don't know I really don't know because if if these if, if these players are not able to get involved in the weed game on the ground level where's the incentive for people I mean uh, I don't know it creates some serious power players when it comes to weed and it also creates Cause the way you put it the way you put it with the reps the rep the way it is like you gotta be you gotta be in control of the strain yeah to get the maximum price for the for the shit so like six months. So you would need like if someone was going to be like doing some shit outside of a gang it would probably be the growing but then the same person they got to deal with every time because they're getting rep off of the strain yeah so if they're in the gang the person that can sell it they got to be dealing with the same growers all the time if they're out of the gang listen so that listen that adds a layer of complication there's that's, an extra that's wrinkle that you're missing there's an extra wrinkle to grow the rep you have to plant it yourself as the strain owner Mm. So that, like, I, I, the onus is already on me to grow the weed. Because if I give my seeds, I've already done it. I've already given Sal some of my seeds. If he grows my plant, if I go sell the stuff that he grows and we give bags out to people of the stuff that he grows, even though it's my strain, that rep does not go up. The price does not go up. So, not only do you have to be in a game, but you also have to be the grower and, you know, in a lot of cases, the seller of your own strain. So it's, it's a multi-layer thing that kind of makes it actually yeah. a hard thing to get into. It is pretty hard. So, like, what's a, what's a free agent supposed to do? Like, Dude, start their own exactly. thing? Exactly. Like, uh, I'd have to literally give someone... No, yeah, you can't. You can't just give... Dude, it fucks me because I was selling weed to other people. Like, basically, I'm going to have to sell weed to established gangs. That's basically how it works. I won't be able to sell yeah. weed to the Joe Schmoes anymore, which were a pretty decent chunk of my product, uh, you know, distribution. So, yeah. Ah, uh, thank God for BBMC. I was selling to BBMC too, as well. So That's when you were around, yeah, I'm sure someone had to take care of him. Fuck. Yeah. At the end of the day, it definitely, definitely is a little bit more layered, and I'm interested to see if this is the uh, final product and this is how it's gonna be. Yeah. Because we'll if so, see. holy shit, there are basically like five people in the city that are like the weed people. That's it. There's nobody else, and that is a lot of people to supply. Because nobody else is going to be incentivized to, to grow weed, really, if they can't make money right. off of it. Mm. it changes, yeah, it's going to change everything. Wants to go see Pixel Perfect. Oh my yeah, god! I do! You want to see... I do... Oh, if you hire me! Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, shit, okay. How do you like it? A little upgrade. Oh my god, look at this uh, successful like business owner. Yeah, Holy shit. It's simple and clean, you know? Well, I haven't started yet, but thanks, Cody. You, you, you own the business right, there, still. Me. What do you mean? You don't it's have to start true. to own it. Is this? Sure. How is it? How yes. Was it? This is April? Yeah. She blazed um, out of her mind. Yes. This is April? How do I look? Don't no, me. No. And this is April? Stop playing. Baby, that's Chody. What the fuck? Why do you look so professional? They couldn't yeah, do it. They couldn't do it. Hot. What's good, baby? Oh, you can just say it. What's up? Professional. Yes, oh, okay. I'm a business owner. It's, uh, five. Oh, dear. Randy, I actually know please. a lot about owning a business. Hello, Randy. Jesus Christ. Yo. Hello, big one. Yeah, it's insane right now. It was good. You ain't ready for this, bruh. What am I ready for? Oh, you got it? Oh my god! You got a drift kit, dude! How much was it? Oh, that cop wants a piece already, dude. Hey, you're legally drifting though? Yeah, it's technically not legal, but. Dude, this is so sick! Holy shit! <laughs> Yo! Alright. You okay? Hey, hey, how's it going, guys? Just, uh, a little, 
No, 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 sir. It's a suspension issue. It's a, we're working on a suspension issue. Just, uh, suspension's a little loose, sir. This is sick, man. I could get used to some shit like this. Hey, how's it going back there? Oh shit, there's another one. Oh, dude, I love this, dude. I'm so excited. Bro, this car do be looking sick when it drifts, too. Oh, they just dropped into the cops. They just peeled it. You either lost them or they just said, fuck this. <laughs> I think they said, fuck this. Dude, this is so sick, man. All right, all right. I got to know how much it set you back, bro. Well, it's going to set you back 300k. At least. 300k? What do you mean? What the fuck? That's so much money, bro. That's a whole car. 300k? I have a car that's already built for drifting. What the fuck? I should get a discount. All right, great. So the 11K in my bank account won't cut it, I guess. All right, good to know. <laughs> I literally have 11K, dude. I was gone for like two weeks off and on, fucking, you know, stuck in my apartment playing video games. I come back to just a zillion asset fees, all the bills in the world. Yeah. This is why this fucking business hustle that everybody's you wanna, on. You wanna know the best part? What? Did, you did not. That didn't just happen. No way. No way is it that fast. Oh my God. You just got like a quick release on your suspension kit. What the fuck? I thought it was gonna take like maybe like a full ass like 30 seconds or something bro no fucking way yo that is amazing i have to i, I gotta get i gotta get one i have to dude i, got, I guess i gotta fucking guess i'm grinding great <laughs> This is why, like, I, dude, I gotta get this bong shop opened so I can go to sleep and make money while I sleep. I need a fucking business. God damn it. Just like that, we're back to running from the cops. Dude, that's crazy. That is so fucking sick. You, dude, I am so excited, dude. I'm so hyped. My boy Chip, did you see Chip's car? Yeah. Dude, Chip's got one of the sick. sickest cars in the city, dude. It's so dope. Oh my god, bro. I'm fucking so hyped, dude. You're the first person I've seen that has a drift kit, dude. Holy shit. I was, uh... This was the second car to ever have it. Oh my god. I'm sure you probably fucking greased the wheels and fucking got some fat discount, you son of a bitch. Uh, listen, I was the only one that could provide the high quality part, so... It makes sense. I mean, yeah, you're right. I mean, who the fuck else is gonna do it? You know? I provided for like five cars. <laughs> yeah, no, that makes sense to me. Um, well, I'm fucking, I'm hyped. All right, I gotta get down there and talk to these fucking jabronis and get my shit set up, but looks like I got like a month of grinding ahead of me. Great. Fuck. <laughs> can take a loan for it. <sighs> I already got two open. Jesus. Fucking, I got assets, man. Yo. Um, are they gonna do, um, are we gonna do drift events then? Now that the kits are available, we can start uh, setting stuff up? Probably. Because the thing is, I don't even know if we're functionally able to set up a track in the underground, if that even works, because... We you know, have a track, but it's like, it's finicky. I was gonna say, it's probably know. a little scuffy right now. Plus, huh? plus, we don't even have keys down there yet, so... Oh, I totally forgot about that. Oh my god, I forgot about that detail. All right, well, I'm excited. Thanks for showing me, dude. Appreciate that shit. It's fucking sick. Got you, bro. Have fun, man. Damn, dude! Oh, that's so fucking cool. Dude, the drift kits are sweet, man. I want one so bad. I literally have the car that's like the flagship car for this shit, dude. I need a drift kit. Like, I should be out there advertising the drift kit. Like, that's actually what... They, they need to, like, have, pick a few people that have dope cars for it and just say, be, dude, get out there in the street and just market this for us. 